Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Uh, got this message from a good friend of ours uh, today. A, a gunman in Texas has killed 19 students, two adults, before being fatally shot, officials say there. Uh, this, clear, but we of course, is... At an elementary school in Texas. We are now learning that 15 people Hang on one were, were second, killed guys. by the shooter. The shooter uh, is on double news on that mass shooting. Here we go. CNN reporting Texas. it we are here. Learning that 15 um, people were, were killed by the shooter. The shooter is also dead tonight. That's according to the governor of Texas. I guess right. they have updated it since then. Uh, in the article, 19 students actually being killed there. Uh, when they first published published this, 15 had been ki- 14 children had been killed teacher as well in the shooting there uh and and it's tragic it's tragic for something like this to happen Uh, but if you recall when biden let me let me let me let's pull this up biden appoints uh chief justice or not appoints uh, katana brown jackson um, when she was appointed by President Biden to become the next Chief Justice, this was something that I requested information about. Uh, what What's behind her being appointed? And one of the things that was shared with me was that she will be the Justice that will help spearhead disarmament of the nation. Uh, and so that was interesting in itself. And I, when she was appointed, one of the things that uh, I pointed out to people then, and let me just see if I can't uh, uh, pull up something, if we have anything actually showing on that, is that um, it was it was shared with me that she would like I said she would be the one that would actually spearhead that of the disarmament uh, of the nation and that uh, and so I asked are we going then to see um, are we going to see more uh False flags, so to speak. And when I say false flags, I don't say that the Texas shooting is a false flag. Real people die in false flags, by the way. Real people will die. I don't know her stance on on gun control. Uh, Maybe that would be the right word to use here. So let's just try that real quick. But when I brought the issue up, it was uh, definitely a major issue with her, and that yes, that's what you're going to see. Um, and uh, let's see, I'm, I'm just looking to see if we have any articles out here like that. You know, they have here her on gun control. Um, has never affirmed individual rights to guns, so she's that's one thing about her. Uh, she's, let's see, that the Second Amendment protects the individual fundamental right of all Americans to keep and bear arms for the defense of themselves or others. Consequently, the NRA is concerned with the President Biden's decision to nominate her to the Supreme Court of the United States of a crucial time when there are vital cases that will, that will determine the scope and future of the Second Amendment and self-defense rights in our country. So, that they were already noticing that about her, and um, now that we've had this situation take place in Texas, you're going to see another push for this. Now, I, I'm certainly it is tragic what happens um, in these school shootings, but it just reminds me of the one in Florida. And the young man that got accused of that, there were too many witnesses that he did not commit the crime. That there were others committing the crime at that time. Not to say that whoever was involved here didn't actually commit the crime. 
but it is definitely coming. Uh, let's see right here. We got another article here. Please, Judge Katana Brown uh, Jackson is anti-gun and everyone knows it. That's March 28th. Uh, and that's before we even get to the situation that we have here. You don't need to be an expert. Supreme uh, Court uh, progressing it to I can't say it, I'm a legal scholar, even a decent tea leaf reader to know that any potential justice for the national highest court who is nominated by Biden Harris administration is going to be anti gun extremist. So we're about to see it. And by the way, I know people hate to hear for me to say this, but that is an A R E T agenda, by the way. So, and, and, and as crazy as people think that I sound on this, I actually had a friend of mine, a doctor, call me today, medical doctor, and who had spoke with a four-star general that independently corroborated the information I had been sharing with him about the ET involvement and all the things that have been happening over the last couple of years independently verified everything I'd been saying, a four-star general. I'm hoping to be able to get more of that information shared with you guys very, very soon. Uh, our prayers, though, uh, certainly go out to the families of the victims of this tragedy in Texas. I know that John, very dear friend of mine, um, lost his entire family in a Texas shooting at a church uh, a number of years ago, maybe five, six years ago now. And in fact, I just heard from John recently um, before all this took place there. And it was a real shooting. Um, the only difference was, was what the news never reported then, was that a armed citizen was the one that actually shot the shooter and that he died of his wounds. They didn't want you to know that because they don't want you to believe that being armed could be a good thing. Um, but uh, it is a tragedy of what's happened here. I'm sure there's going to be many more things that will come out about this over the next few days. At any rate, uh, be sharing some other things with you over on Patreon there. Like I said, I've been trying to get some videos up on these things to share with you because I have a lot of information still yet to bring out uh, that hopefully we can bring out soon. Uh, God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Brennan with Israeli News Live.